everybody, I'm Amanda aka Creative Mommy of Two and today I have a little bit of a different unboxing. Well, the unboxing itself isn't completely different, but the project is different. I do have here this big tube kind of contraption. I do think it's just canvas is wrapped, but this will be for my cross stitch conversion. I am going to do a cross stitch conversion and also a Heaven Earth Design versus Diamond Art Club comparison. Because what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do it extra, so yeah, you know me, this is my madness project for this year, and probably at least partially next year. I am going to do a cross stitch conversion of a Heaven and Earth Design cross stitch pattern. That is. Obviously, on Heaven and Earth Design, I bought it there in a sale. It was six fifty, if I'm not mistaken, six euro, no, six euros or six fifty. It was, I believe, half off. So it depends a bit on what the price exactly was, but it was something in that direction. So I bought that. I got the canvas, and I am planning on working from my leftover drills. Don't know how far I will get before I run out of something. Because yeah, I already know that I have plenty of some colors and for sure not enough of different colors. But I am going to do it a bit extra because I saw on AliExpress that there are also blank canvases for rounds. So I was planning on also doing it in round, not only square, just to see like if you prefer rounds, if it would even be possible for you to do it or would you not see anything like at all. Big chance that I will see that pretty soon. So in case it turns out to be awful, like really soon, I don't know how that project will go, but we will see. <laughs> at least I want to start it. So yeah, the cross stitch conversion I will be doing. I have grabbed the box for now because I wanted to do like the start conversion versus Heaven and Earth, the Heaven and Earth versus Diamond Dark Club start difference, but I do think that will be for another day. But what I will be doing is by the famous and fabulous artist Randall Spangler, who we all love, or at least many of us love, <laughs> it is this beauty, Treasure Quest. I love this image and yeah I was debating on it with my husband and we decided that I would get something that would be pretty similar in size from like the cross stitch conversion to the Diamond Art Club to be a pretty decent comparison because some are pretty off and some are pretty accurate but I believe this one was I have it here. It was off three stitches slash drills in one direction and six in the other. But yeah, many of the conversions, if you would like to be a, like a, a time and dark club size, like most of them, you would have the mini. But not all the charts would also become in a mini, and this was one of the ones that are pretty close. I only believe, yeah, I do have another uh, another canvas in this because it was the third, and then you got a little some discount, and I already got another pattern. If you have been on my channel for a while, you saw that I put a poll a bit ago, like. December, January, I believe it was. For like, what would you see me work on? Treasure Quest or No More Dragon's Breath, because I believe that one was actually precisely the same amount of stitches slash drills, if I counted correctly. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's a thing I can do a different video about, but I just wanted to start with the canvases first. So, yeah, without further ado, I'm just going to get into it. 
going to try to be careful because well i don't know how exactly it's packaged so yeah i don't want to cut into it and cut in my canvas obviously yeah now i see it it's just on one of those pool noodle kind of things wrap around bubble wrap around it and then in those trash bag kind of materials So yeah, not something I want to cut into recklessly, <laughs> obviously. Because I already are starting to cut into the bubble wrap. And yeah, I don't want to. But yeah, I looked around for different materials and I decided to do it on a budget to see if you could also do it on a budget because yeah, I have seen like port glue canvas and everything. Well, they quickly went up in price. I have seen like, for example, on AliExpress from every moment just for two canvases, like only the two canvases for uh, No More Dragon's Breath and the square for uh, Treasure Quest. Excuse me. It would be, I believe, 100 euro for one and uh, like 75 for the other. So, yeah, no, that was a little bit pricey. And I wanted to see if it is possible to do something like this on a budget. So, yeah. So that's why I'm also doing this like with double-sided tape, with spare drills to just see if it's even possible. Because yeah, it's my madness pro project. Come on, I do need to do something mad about it. <laughs> and yeah, you do know me perhaps by now. In case you've been here before, if not, well, I'm kind of a go big or go home kind of girl. I just cut these plastics, so... I thought I got it all. And another layer of tape. It's making me work for it. So, that's that. Where's the beginning of this? Where is it? Where is it? Can I take it off? This? No. Oh, here. Got that. Found it. <laughs> there was a piece of plastic in there. So, this is the 60 by 60. This is what I will need for no more dragon's breath. So. This will go to the side. This will be a project for another time. Because yeah, I do think that I do need to have quite a lot of the same colors. Because yeah, it's also a dragon. Even though the background is completely different in color wise. But we will see. So we first start off with the square, which is kind of a big thing next to the table you oh. dang it it has board glue doesn't it does it doesn't does it not does it i don't know it looks good it looks really good at least it has no opaque paper as you can see so i suspect it is board glue it does have a little bit of a dust thing here yeah that's just little piece of something not much to worry about it will be gone don't know actually like how to differentiate like pour glue versus like the double-sided tape but it flattens out perfectly. Oh yeah, not the top, but 
sorry for not focusing but <laughs> yeah it shines quite a lot yeah only not the top here isn't focused the rest is rolled out the rest is flat i'm impressed i believe i paid for like all three canvases i paid 63 euros so i expected double-sided tape or at least the opaque paper and yeah i expected worse way worse but yeah it does have two sheets of the plastic yeah almost flat dang i'm impressed wow <laughs> so i got the 70 by 90 because if I, my counting was correct I do need a 70 by 81 or at least I rounded it up because what I actually need was a 68.5 by 79.25 centimeters because I did the number of stitches it says that is high and wide the 274 by 317 I did that but um, multiplied it by 0 0.025, the size of a square drill. And I hope that I did it correct because then I should come out at 69, uh, 68.5 by 79.25. So I hope that the canvas is not like really far off because I have. Oh yeah, I gave myself some wriggle room because I actually needed like a 70 by 80. But I was like three stitches off was kind of tricky. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go for a 70 by 90. So yeah. So I'm going to see how good the size actually is dang it on the nose 70 is it on the nose 90 in the other way because if that is I could have gotten away with 70 by 80 if he even had it it's also another story because not all companies on AliExpress do have the same blank canvases it is two millimeters short so that is for me true to size damn i'm impressed i'm really impressed because yeah i didn't expect this quality of aliexpress so yeah that is really good. So yeah, this is my canvas for square. I will prepare this one with putting washi overall. The only thing I do notice is that it hasn't, it isn't like easy grid. I can like see bigger lines about it, but yeah, if that's the biggest problem, I can work with that. I can count stuff out and see how everything goes. Maybe can even work in bigger that's the thing I need to figure out but yeah it's pretty clear would have been as I said easier if I just known like where 10, 10 by 10 grid is even like where half of it is but if that's the worst for that price I expected way worse <laughs> to be honest I expected way 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 worse so yeah, for that price, I'm kind of impressed. <coughs> so for the round, I needed to go a little bit bigger. Because, yeah, the drills from rounds are slightly bigger. So, yeah. So this is what a blank canvas for rounds looks like. Close up. Instead of this for square, I'm going to hold them both together. The round versus square blank canvas. Just going to let this one lay here. Ooh, itchy ear. I ended up getting this in a in a in a 
Oh, I'm just right. <laughs> yeah, blah, 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 blah. It's quite a big pain. It got stuck a little bit here. The glue is still sticky, so no worries. But the plastic moved a little bit, so it got stuck to the pool little thing. So, like, yeah, that's the worst. I can live with it. I don't have a size on this. What size blanket do I have here? <laughs> um. Um, hold on. I seriously <laughs> have no clue. Yeah, this is just a little bit, but I'm going to flatten it out just a little bit. I do have a little bit of residue glue here on the edges but mm, I can take it off so we'll see let me see can I take the glue off I do think it's double-sided. Looks to be one to come off if I rub on the edges. But still, I have seen way worse versions of poor glue. So, yeah, I'm not complaining. <laughs> poor glue, I believe. When I see, I'm seeing it wrong. I have seen way worse versions of the double-sided adhesive. I do actually like this, like, kind of cover. Even though I'm still most likely will use release papers just to section it off a little bit better, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So I'm going to measure it up. Let's see. What have I gotten myself into? This is... A few millimeters short of 80. So I think I got 80 by 100. Because I did keep in mind that at some places the canvas size might be kind of different. So maybe that it is the canvas size and not the like actual size. So it's Six millimeters short so I guess it still will be plenty because let's see what did I say here that I needed for rounds 76 by 72 uh, 76 by 0.72 by 88.78 so it would be 80 by 90 to 95 so yeah I do believe I got it out at 80 by yeah, 100 because they didn't have 80 by 90. So, yeah, that's also a little bit more of like looking which company has what to like, yeah, grab your materials from. But yeah, I'm kind of impressed. It looks pretty good. Yeah, the, because this was the one that's wrapped the tightest around the like full noodle kind of thing. So the plastic has lifted a little bit, but... Even Diamond Art Clubs have that, so yeah, no worries for me. For me personally, I don't mind the port glue version. Port glue, port glue. I don't mind if it's double sided adhesive. That's why I got an AliExpress kit because I can work with it. I just hang my canvas flat. Well, I hang it. Let's say it like that. I hang it up. Don't roll it anymore. I might even see how this one fares because I might need to compare this one like glue-wise to the Diamond Dark Club off screen to see 
how it all will work out. But still, since I do have it here, I'm just going to grab it. Those are the drills. Well, almost falling off my chair, but yeah, so here we have the two AliExpress kits, and here we have this is the top side, and this is the Diamond Dark Club. So, this will be the image, give or take. Well, sorry, bump chat. So, it's round versus square versus diamond art club. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it here to have you entertain for something. So, and the, for the boot measure, the diamond art club version is a 70 by 81. And one of them still. Here with my measuring tape, let's see how close this one was. So this should be 70. And this one is 70.6 or 7. Sorry if my face is in view. I know, not the prettiest face, but oh well. <laughs> And this is 82. I think I moved. That's the downfall with the big canvases. Yeah, 81. 81 and a little bit over. See, like this. So, yeah. That's just pretty close to size. So, yeah. I don't have enough drills as of this point to just start both, well, all three of them. I guess I will either need to do it page by page and section off here this one to see like where about would a page be. Or I potentially start this one completely finish it completely because I do know one of the drills I have only in this kit for square at least rounds I do have plenty but not squares so yeah what do you think should I just finish this one and compare it like fully finished with like page by page comparisons of the rest and also would you like to see time lapses of these ones, uh, the cross stitch conversions, or would you be like, well, one is enough, potentially this one and a cross stitch, or would you want to see both for all three of them? Would you see two of them, or do you think one is enough because it's basically the same image? And uh, let's be quite honest, the heaven and earth cross stitch conversion, I would be looking around for colors more, so it would take longer. <laughs> But yeah, also I need to look out for if I can upload the same pattern twice in Pattern Keeper. So I need to toy around with that one because yeah, I want to work side by side on them. To yeah, compare them page by page and not be able to com to like need to work on one because before I can work on the other one. And otherwise I do need to work on it on paper for one so yeah that's something <laughs> i do have to iron out a few things but yeah i wanted to unwrap the canvases already and start that with you then i'm thinking i'm going to prep the canvases so i know where a page is and stuff like that for me to easy find stuff and all that fun stuff then I think I will do a video of comparing the drills for this kit because yeah, the cross stitch conversions has a lot more because I already, yeah, as you see, I already uh, compared the canvases itself. Now I think I will compare the colors and then I will already start. 
So yeah, I guess it will be a long-term project. I will make a playlist, especially for the cross-stitch conversion itself. And I do think I will make a separate video of the comparison. Even though this video is both. So yeah, it will end up in both lists. Who knows, maybe in the end I will just make it one, but... Yeah, we will see, we will see. I can't look into the future, so it would be nice sometimes, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, with that being said, let me know down in the comment section, please. Would you like to see me time-lapse them, or would you see like only the Diamond Dark Club, or only one of the cross-stitch conversions, or anything? And would you like me to... Well, how do you... How do you want me to handle it, like, page by page and do this one also, like, in the same size sections? Or would you be like, oh, finish this one and then compare it with the rest? So, yeah, let me know. You can also let me know that I'm completely crazy and out of my mind. But I already know that. <laughs> but, yeah, still... What do you think of my crazy madness project? Because, yeah, obviously this is not a mid-year madness project. It will not be only for like one or two months like I did last year. It will be a year-long madness project, I do think. So, yeah, we'll see how we get along with that and how long it actually takes. Because, yeah, especially with the rounds, I don't have all the drills. I do need to complete a few kits in the meantime. So, yeah. But with that being said, <laughs> as always, let everything you want to share with me, let me know down in the comment section below. If you haven't already and you liked this crazy rambling, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here on my channel. And yeah, if you don't want to or you already have, could you please like this video if you liked it? Or the dislike video if you disliked it? All fine by me. And yeah, I hope to see you next time. I have no clue when you will see either of these canvases again. But yeah, I hope to see, hope to do the color comparison soon. So yeah, with that being said, bye. <laughs>